We are now recording. Um, seven o'clock. This is called the order, committee to order. Um, I, Connor and uh, and Sharon both called and told me they wouldn't be able to be here. So that's excuse that. So, um, do we have any objection to the agenda? Any corrections to the draft minutes from the previous meetings that was circulated? No. Joy. I Go move ahead. to approve the committee minutes. Do you have a, do you have a second? Second. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Approved. Sure. Six to nothing. Um, variance agenda 163 Piedmont. The applicant. This is BZA 23106, the application uh, to, to convert an existing three season room into, into an office space. The applicant seeks a variance to reduce the minimum side yard from five feet to 3.7 feet along the east side. Uh, I did get a, well, no, I did get an email from the, the, the neighbor closest to it saying that they didn't oppose it. Uh, so it's, the floor is yours. You can come sit here and be on camera. The way things work is you give whatever presentation you want to give. The committee has questions. Then we'll go around the audience and see if any of the members of the public have comments. Um, and then it comes back to the committee. Sure. Um, so we bought the house. Can you give your name? Oh, so yes. My name is uh, Andrew Wadarsik. I'm the homeowner at 163 Piedmont. Um, we bought the house back in June. Um, with the of converting this uh, space into an office. Um, after some discussion with some contractors, we realized that um, it would be kind of out of our price range to hire someone to do it, so I'm doing it. Um, going through the building permit process, we were informed that the existing three season room, which has been there since God knows when our, our house was built in 1923, um, was already in violation of zoning laws um, because of the 3.7 feet of the site. Um, so we get a building permit on the area, um, we would get a, a zone variance. Um, the nature of the work that I'm going to be doing is, um, it's already a closed uh, space with uh, large screen windows and uh, we're already framed in and closing off the areas uh, with uh, screen grid windows that aren't installing um, glass windows and then finishing the interior space. Uh, the exterior is going to, uh, it's going to have the same siding, the same style of windows as the rest of the house. Thank you. Uh, any questions from the committee? Real quick. Um, so, what is existing now is on this three feet and seven inches yes. from the property line. Yes. Okay. So it was not in compliance. Yeah, and there's going to be no no so expansion to the existing footprint. Got it. So, so the existing room is essentially a screened in porch. Yeah, that's probably a little more. It's like when I think of a porch, I think of like just like columns and a roof, but there's actually like walls and framed in three by fours. But it's not permanent windows; it's screens. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's the the alteration. But it already exists at three point seven foot yes. from the existing setback. Is three point seven feet different than three feet six inches? Yeah, it's a little more. It's a little more. <laughs> yeah, it's just like so, it's three feet seven inches, correct? Uh, it it's about 16 inches too close to the front. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I've learned is just use the applicant's numbers and that, like, don't translate numbers. The, your adjacent neighbor who lives on that side, are they aware of the project? Yep, and they're the ones that emailed us. Oh, okay. And, I, and normally for, for non controversial things, I know we would make it part of the record, but if you want to make it, you may get all. Yeah, it's, it's just your own. Yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. That's, thank you. Um, what, do you remember the name of the neighbor? Uh, it's uh, Jacqueline. Uh, shoot, I, I honestly can't remember her last name, but her name is Jacqueline. She's at 165. Do you ever um, have any? Issues with maintaining your property in that narrow space between you and your neighbor. Uh, the no, there's the their driveway is right there, so it's accessible. But you can maintain your property without 
infringing on Andrew's work is my question. Okay. Okay. Sometimes in things like this, you might want to think about a maintenance agreement where you both agree that this is okay if they work on my property to maintain mm -hmm. yours. Okay. Doesn't sound like it's really necessary. Uh, and I will read it to the, I can read this into the record and I'll send it to everyone so that it's uh, in the thing. It's from Jacqueline Bernhardt. Hi, Stephen. My name is Jackie Bernhardt and I live on 169 Piedmont Road next to Andrew and Olivia. We have no issues with the zoning variants that are requesting. Please let me know if you need anything else for myself and my husband. We did exactly what you were doing. Yeah. Okay. Line, so, that you have. so once you enclose it, are you going to do a split? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? This is a part of the city. You said it's the same square footage that, uh, the, that it is now, or is it going to get any bigger? I don't think that the outside um, concourse is square footage, but I don't think that Green Season from that point is square footage. But once it's heated and cooled, it will go ahead and that. I think that the space is not finished. That is not yeah. Yeah. It's hmm. finished space. Are there any other questions from the committee? Either of you two want to weigh in or have comments? All right. I'm somewhat amused. There's legal non conforming because we have all of the legal, <coughs> all of the columns. And do you realize that the property taxes will go up by adding the square footage? Oh, yeah. So remember that when you go to the ballot box. <laughs> <coughs> uh, okay, if any of do I have? Did, did you meet with district commissioner before? No, we did not. Although he did say he met with his commissioner. Yep, and he said that he had, uh, I think he sent an email saying that he was with the district. Let me just see if I, it's you. I missed the Q crawl on the search for, a, I missed that. 163 Piedmont. Ah, I do have one in front of me. Let me I reviewed that uh, so long ago, I didn't even, he, he was so prompted when I clicked on that far back. Mm -hmm. I will be unable to attend the, Z, the zoning variance meeting. I reviewed it and it seems like my arms go forward. Uh, yeah, I can send it to you. I'll just send it to everyone. I need not change the applicant. I have a question for him. I did ask him to consider whether his neighbor's use would have an opt-in on the proposal. There may not be much at all to object to, but perhaps the neighbor would be willing to provide a letter to him in support of the project. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's already in there. <laughs> It's on, it's on YouTube, it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> okay, do I have then do a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Um, any discussion? Um, I'll, I'll go around and yep, this will be a chance to comment if you want. Let's start at this side. Uh, public, yes. Um, we don't see this 347 feet as being largely inconsistent with any of the other setbacks we have in buildings and equipment. Yes. Diane? Yes. Yes. And I yes as well. So it's a recommended 7 L. Yes, it goes on to the commission. I'd be there at 7, expect that meeting. You may end up coming after another deer carcass discussion, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wish I were. I'm not kidding. So you can stay if you want to listen to or the rest of the thing, or you can go on. Go on. We don't have that much. Well, <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And just for uh, just for uh, openness purposes, I wanted to tell folks that I did receive an email from the app, previous applicant from 201 West North Broadway, and that they might have something for our next commission meeting. I submitted. I gave. I linked to the only two documents I had received from them in terms of drawings. They they plan to look at a. Is it a for, I, I try to use their exact words, likely for a use variance, no dimensional variances for a two-family residence in a single-story garage. 
is what they are looking That's at. That's the one from February. Mm -hmm. That had like a yeah, variant. This is a one yeah. corner of the one yeah. North Broadway yes. where they were doing a duplex with a carriage house. Yeah, she does, two pages. Uh, she does. A, she assumed, I think, just, I, and I would not take that as a promise because you never know what the city's going to say when they look at it. Right. They sometimes new people look at it, but I have the drawings. Do you think anything else need, do I, I'll, I guess I could look to see if I'm asking a commissioner like um, Nutter, do you think anything else it, it should be done to notify the neighbors? She, well, the, the oh. note that I received was that she was going to make an attempt to visit with the neighbors, to meet with the neighbors. We hope what she does. We hope for that last time. Hopefully she does because um, I, you know, I see this project a little bit downsized from what she was expecting. I don't see anything about the paved area between the house and the garage. Um, I don't see, uh, it looks to me from the drawings that I saw, it looks like the third level is going to be habitable space. So I don't know if she has decreased the size of the duplex so it doesn't infringe on the neighbors as much and the tree that's in their backyard that they don't have to take it down. Right. Um, and I'm, you know, if she's making the third level, the second, the third bedroom, I don't have a problem with it. You know, I'd rather, I prefer to see a single family home, but We've all talked and we're agreeable to a duplex, but she needs to downsize the size of it. Well, I will. And that should, I will, and I, I don't know if this is going to be a new application or just an amendment of the previous application. Either way, if it's going to be on the agenda, I don't technically have to send out notices if we're just right. going to take it up, right. but I will send out, I will, I'll pretend that this was a, New, new application. I appreciate because I think the neighbors would appreciate that. Um, and I saw, you know, they had dormers on the third level, so I don't know if that's dormers on both sides of the third level or just the side by the by Milton. And just, yeah, and on those things, just you know, they, they can put dormers, all, all the dormers they want. That's right. That's that's not binding on them. Right. Just imagine. Right. But those are the kind of things to have discussions with the interface with them. So I'm anxious to see what she comes. So this would probably be another council variance. It would, it would, yeah, yes, because it's a use variance. Right. Yeah. It, or it could be an amendment of her current. I, whether this, I, I hope for her sake she can just amend it so that she doesn't have to pay another whatever sure. three yeah. thousand dollars. So my assumption is that she's taking care of all the um, the variances that she's asked for. They want things to use with change That's what single she said. family to multifamily. That's what they, she said, no dimensional variances. So I saw in the drawing where she's decreased the size of the front porch to allow for that site vision. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. uh, we went to the next, it looks like, and I, I'll send out confirmation that when you get it, that the city's attorney is going to be willing to come and do a training for up to 10 people on, uh, probably going to be at 6 o'clock. Uh, we'll start at and. We, we're going to do that through RSVP. If it's not us, then, it, then if you don't fill it, which we won't, then go to commissioners and possibly your outside commissioners option. That would be that would be before the meeting. The our when I, our neighbor uh, liaison emailed me on Friday. I think it was Friday morning or late Thursday, and then I responded. To, and I looked, but by the time I responded this week, she's on vacation, so she had, she'll get back to me on Monday. I guess, so she's ready. Response, or I'll talk to whoever. Maybe she has someone else to respond to. But as soon as I get information, I will let you know. Um, and so that means the next meeting of the our commission meeting, our next meeting will be on uh, October twenty fifth. It probably still at seven o'clock. It, it's possible we can move things around for the training, but that's. I just want to put that that's not. Do you have any, do you anyone, everyone think they can make the six o'clock training? Yes. yes. Okay. Then do I have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. All, all in favor say aye. Aye. No, I'm opposed, approved by voice vote. We're now adjourned at 7.14 p.m. Wow. Wait, that, I'll tell you when the, the I think video starts.